Ta-da. Good morning, everyone. This is John Mahilario. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Just let's hope you can. Hi. Hello, my name is John Mahilario. You are in the show, online show for uh, today. And today you're going to find out the story of Jemeline Songalia, who we are now calling the persistent virtual assistant or maybe the persistent VA. Okay. And I'm going to show you a picture of Jem uh, before we begin. Okay. So just, just to give you an idea. And um, everybody say, hey, that's a new dress, and because I think it's a new dress, but I'm not sure. So <laughs> there is a reason why we're teasing her about this dress, but in case it's not a new dress, I will show you a picture of her wearing a new dress um, because it's fun to tease her. And um, you will be shocked at the reason. Okay, here, she is now wearing a new dress in this other photo. Let me just show everyone in the show the new picture. So she's wearing this maroon jacket. And this shot was taken obviously at the Kerygma conference. And, and yeah, sure, there, there she is. She is Jemeline Sungalia. She is a BS computer science graduate. And <laughs> she is we wearing a different ID from me. I think she's like, uh, stuff. Anyway, so we were there this, just a few days ago. Um, we were talking and I got to talk to her about her what has happened in her life. That's because I've been, uh, I've known Jemlin for maybe four years. Is that right? How many years have we known each other, Jem? Maybe four years. And, uh, 24, and 2013 ako nag-start. 2013. So, hey Jem, you have to use Angles. Please. Use any accent you like, just use English, okay? So, so okay. 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 Okay because you don't want to experience it. Yes, it's a tragedy of sorts. And maybe, but it depends really on you, you know, how strong you are as a person. So for those of you who are listening, can you tell us, are you strong as a person? Type, type it in, I'm strong, or no, I'm not. I'm afraid, whatever you, whatever you wanna say, type it in, I'm strong, I'm afraid. Because tonight's story is different from most of the stories you've heard. Uh, there is a lot of uh, lessons about strength in this one. Isn't that right, Jemlin? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys think you are strong, we're going to find out tonight, okay? Especially those who are watching in Facebook Live, please let us know, are you strong? We will find out. Okay, so... Here's how it goes, the evening will go. I'm going to introduce myself so you guys know who I am. And then after that, I'm gonna give the table over to Jemeline, who's gonna share to you her experience, what happened in her life. Transitioning from an employee, right? Am I right? Let, correct me. From an employee. Yes, yes employee. For a part-timer in, in the internet, right? Part-timer working online. And then yes. now doing Facebook ads, right? Yes, right. So here is a success story. But like all success stories, there's a, there's a part that it's not, uh, you know, you don't want to experience maybe, but pray that you don't experience it personally. You experience a variation of it and it makes you stronger. So let's, wow. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, sharing that we have for you tonight. And please be generous in your hearts. You know how to do a heart in Facebook Live, yeah? And in chat. Uh, and please do be generous with your questions as well. Okay, let's begin. 
I'm just gonna go get my slide up so you can see. Okay. So we're forcing this to work on both a computer and on a cell phone. So if it looks strange or weird, that's life. Okay. So my name is John Hilario, and you're gonna. Uh, I'm in the picture in the middle of this picture here, and I'm the one in black and white. And behind me are these people who I taught and we taught during the Date with Freedom Summit, which happened this October. And in there, um, we taught about uh, about 200 people. Yeah, more than 200 people on the virtues of of working in the internet, okay, as a online freelancer or virtual professional. That's what I call it, a virtual professional, okay? Uh, but tonight we're gonna use the, word, the generic word virtual assistant because that's what the world sees. That's what the world knows it's called. It's not a virtual uh, career or virtual professional. Uh, that's my new term for it. Anyway, um, enough of that, I'm gonna go to the next slide. <laughs> so I'm the author of the, actually three books. The first one being the red one, the virtual careers book. Yeah, that's the first book, which you can find in the bookstores today, national bookstore and stuff. And the second one is this book called The Elements of a Successful Virtual, uh, Attractive Virtual Assistant Blog. That's an actual physical book there. And the third book is the four brilliant questions you should ask in your interview. Uh, this is a very short book on the brilliant thing, the, how you can appear brilliant to an interviewer. Uh, when when the end of the interview, he asks, so do you have any questions, right? And the fourth book, not in that picture, but in here live with me is The Rules of the Online Marketing Game. So these are all my three books. The first book came out two years ago. These three books came together this year, just this year. Um, stay with us at the end of the webinar so you'll find out how you can uh, have two chances to win this. And you can also buy them. It's up to you. You can win the books or buy them. Which one do you like? Can you tell me? Do you want to win the books or do you want to buy the books? Let me know in the chat room. Type it in, please. Okay. So moving on, this is a photo of some of the people who are working in Dubai. And am I right, Luis? This is Dubai. And they are there. They've met up. This is a meetup in the Middle East, um, reviewing and sharing notes about the book, the first book, Virtual Careers, okay? I hope you like that. And now the funny thing and sad thing about this photo is that they're all women, meaning most of them have left their family, have left um, their kids, no? They're, they left the kids um, to earn money, whereas they really, really just want to have experiences. They don't really want to get the money to buy things and send to their kids. They really wanna buy experiences with their family. Experiences like this, like you know, walking into your living room and seeing this, or experiences like this. These are priceless experiences that I know nobody wants to miss. But you know, 10 million Filipinos have decided, hey, we can miss this. It's important, but we can make do without it. So that's for me a sad story of our, you know, of what we have done but what we have convinced ourselves to be a, the right thing to do. Let's leave our kids, let's leave our family, let's leave uh, everything, and for 10 years, buy stuff for them. And hopefully, since uh, we can leave them with education, they will be better off in the future. You know? Sacrificing the best kinds of relationship for the best kinds of things money can buy, which is uh, sad. Well, yeah, it's sad. It's true and it's sad. And we have embraced that. So I'm here to, my, my goal is for everyone to, to actually come back home. Everyone. When I say, can you type the word everyone? And when I say everyone, I mean not just people working in another country, but I actually mean people who are working there uh, in your office. You know? There's no point in, the, in today's internet age to just go to your office and say, I have no choice, I have to work overtime. When you can actually do it at home. You can do everything at home. Do everything at home, be subject to the suffering, to the happiness, to the joys of being at home, okay? 
at the same time, put yourself in a position that, hey, I, I think I can improve our relationships at home. I just need to be present, literally present. And then the next challenge would be not just literally present, but also conceptually or not just physically present. Because right now people are not present. So that's, what, that's why I'm here, to help you become more present with your family. That's the goal. That's the main goal. That's my main goal. It may not be your goal, but that's my main goal. Thank you for being here. And thank you for uh, keeping us company. Let me just pause a while so I can get mute that human being who's making noise. I wonder where I can mute. Mute all. Going oh, right there. Participants are now muted. Let me just find Jem again and unmute her. Oh, hi. <laughs> Jen, unmute, your, un unmute yourself. Okay. Oh, this is making noise. This is Emily. Emily, I gotta mute you. Ah, mute all again. Grabe. I'll take care of you, Jem. I have to mute because it's too noisy. Okay. Moving on. So this is another experience you, you probably want to feel and you probably want to be the person to wash your daughter if this ever happens, okay? So in summary, we're here because of family. We're here because of kids. We're here because of home. And we're here because we care. So let me just read this up for you. Tomorrow is too late. Yesterday is over. Now is exactly the right moment to start. What you will find out tonight. So I'm the author of these three books, and these three books actually help you. Um, the first three books, they help you in your virtual career. And the third book, the, the, the fourth book I've got is the rules for the online marketing game. Now, the online marketing game book is a different kind of book because it's designed to help you in that next level of earnings, which is not working for anyone, but having a, a bunch of clients paying you for stuff. So let me just greet people. So hi, Landrick. Hi, Pam. Hi, Jax. Hi, Ella. Hi, Micheline. Oh, it's Micheline. Hi, Emlu. Hi, Estrel. Hi, um, Frances is watching. Wow. Hi, hi, Lourdes. Hi, Ching. Hi, Ching from Bohol. Uh, hi, Estrel. Hi, Big uh, July. And Joe Mar and Joyce and Marix, Froilan and Fred, Lisa, Gracie, Rona, Jess. Sheila, Benj, hey, hi, Benj, hi, Benj, Helen, okay, very good, hey, so just tag yourself in this day. So, I'm going to give the floor over to Jem, um, can you guys uh, type the word, hi, Jem, J-E-M, okay, hi, Jem, hi, Jemeline, so we can get started, okay, I'm just, I'm going to leave you guys with this picture of us, uh, hugging in a Kerygma conference. And then, and Jem is going to actually replace this with her own slide. So, take a look at it and say goodbye to this picture, okay? Because we're going to... Jem, your turn. I'm going to remove your mute. I can't remove your mute app, so you, mute, you unmute yourself. Hey, Jem, are you there? Isabel, can you help me unmute Jem? I think she's still muted. I can't hear anything. Okay, looks like she left and she's coming back again. All right, so in the meantime, let me just tell you an announcement. So after, after uh, Jemeline gives her story, this is how we do it, okay? Jamali tells our story, and then, and then I give you some announcements, and I also give you some lectures. Now, this afternoon, I'm sorry, whatever time zone you are in, after Jamali tells you her story, I'm gonna teach you something about uh, how, how copywriters earn money extra. Would you like to learn how to do that? Would you like to know how they actually do that, how they pull it off, okay? And I still don't see Jem. So while Jem is still, you know, maybe trying to load, maybe she tripped over her cable and it turned off. 
So I'm gonna give you uh, some announcements about the upcoming Bitcoin event happening this Friday. Uh, okay, so please bear with Jem. Let's pray that she comes back. But meantime, let me show you some warnings regarding the Bitcoin event. Yes, warnings. So here's why. Um, so I got this Bitcoin blockchain workshop on December 2, 8 to 12. So this is a Saturday. December being this, the month that it is, your brain is probably saying Christmas party, Christmas party, Christmas party. But at the same time, there are people who want to get your money. And, and some of them are using the, the word blockchain and Bitcoin to make that happen. So that's why this part I'm talking about is a warning regarding these kinds of events. So let me just proceed with that. So why would you join my Bitcoin blockchain workshop? Well, first of all, you can just go to Udemy, right? You can go to YouTube and you can just go attend that free seminar. Somebody's inviting you about something, something, coin, 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 right? And there are a lot of that all over the world, right? Yes, you just go ahead and learn it from Udemy and YouTube. Did I just say go to YouTube? Yeah. If you want to learn about Bitcoin and, and blockchain, which is the next generation technology that will affect us around next year, okay, next year, then go ahead, learn it from Udemy and, Bitcoin and, and YouTube. However, please be warned that if you learn it from there, you are going to experience a lot of techie stuff because even the, you know, the, the great, you know, the great people who, are, who really understand this stuff, they can really just explain it in techie and the language that they understand. Not many of them are really good teachers. So that's my warning. If you do go there, you might have a hard time understanding. Now, if you go to my event, my event is actually experiential. Everybody type the word experiential. I don't know how to spell it, so go ahead and type it in. Okay? So Jen, how's your internet? Can, can you go back in? So experiential means you're gonna feel it. Everybody type the word, feel it. Um, it's not about me on stage talking to you for four hours, three hours, okay? It's more about, it's more about you feeling the concepts. What are the concepts? Okay. I am back. Oh, she's back, okay. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> because no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. You don't have to give us, you know, the story. Um, okay. Let me finish this one so I can, we can go back to you. Right. Okay. So, so what I've done, this is the third time I'm doing this, is to create a program that will allow you to understand on a personal, emotional level. Everybody type the word emotional. Helps you understand on an emotional level. When they say um, Bitcoin miners uh, have to solve a difficult problem. When they say something like that, I'm going to help you feel that on an emotional level. So you understand what it really is not just in a brain way, but in a heart way. So you can just go ahead and deal with clients who work on the Bitcoin world because there will be more clients who will be asking you, do you understand blockchain? And if you only understand Bitcoin, that's not gonna be enough. You need to understand blockchain, the technology itself. That's gonna change the world. Bitcoin is the poster boy. Bitcoin is not gonna change the world per se. Blockchain will. So. This is my desire that you learn this stuff from me because I believe I'm the best one to explain a very complicated thing in a very emotional yeah, level. I'm emotional and strong, so you will retain it some more, okay? So here is my warning. Please be careful. There are scammers out there who will invite you to a free seminar on coin, 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 and it's in an expensive hotel. Please take the hint. If the hotel is expensive, what do you think will happen? What do you think? Everybody, you can figure this out. If they, if they pay for an expensive hotel using their friends who the owners of the hotel who allows them to use it, what do you think? They're going to ask you for money. And they're going to ask you for money and it's not Bitcoin. It's something else coin. They're inviting you into a ICO. What's that coin thing? This, this ICO is actually a different kind of coin and they want you to buy this different coin. Using the word coin, deceiving you into thinking you're getting something like Bitcoin or blockchain, but you're not. 
you're being promised to invest in a brand new company and you think it's safe. Let me tell you, it's not safe. Can you type that in? It is not safe. Do not go to those seminars, okay? You will be convinced to buy. And it's just a uh, bye-bye. You're just gonna say goodbye to your money. By the way, this is exactly what um, um, Brother Edward Lee, and I know President and Chairman of Call Financial said on stage during Kerygma conference, during his talk on finances, that you may be invited to these ICOs, initial coin offerings. And that's really just another way of saying, do you want to say goodbye to your money? Go there. Okay, so I gave you my warning. I, Bitcoin may change our life. Blockchain will change it. That's why I have this event December 2. Okay, you're gonna learn blockchain, altcoin, cryptocurrency, mining, trading, everything you need to understand it so you can converse easily with a client who's in this world, okay, so you can work for them because there's gonna be a, a big opening for all these things next year. But you want to be so in, intelligent enough that you emotionally believe you understand it as well as intellectually believe you understand it. So that I think I'm the only person qualified to teach you that. So I'm inviting you to the December 2 event, okay? So let me just talk about that later. Jen is here. Jen, are you there? Are you ready? Start. Yes. Yeah, please, please. Show your slides, show your pictures. People are excited to learn. God bless. Okay. Can I share my screen now? Yes, yes. Okay. If you forget the English, I will interrupt and I will tell the English person. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let me know if you can see my screen. Uh, can you see now my screen? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 So I'm Jemeline Songalia, but you can call me Jen. Okay. So I'll start now. Um, Okay, so just a bit of background about me. I'm a daughter, <laughs> so that's my dad there, and then there's my cousin, and then uh, there's my brother. And um, sorry, uh, we're not complete here, but it's okay. Um, so um, my background, I'm an advanced programming specialist uh, in IBM. So I'm... I'm Supervision there, and my working hours are from 15 to 21 hours, and sometimes I go home the next day. So that's what support is doing. So that's also one of the reasons why I search about working online because you know it's really um, stressful. And plus the work. So yes. Um, okay, and a bit of background about me. I am also um, interested in attending self-help self books or uh, uh, self-help uh, trainings and seminar or self-development uh, trainings. And uh, what I, uh, what I um, uh, notice there, um, every time that you will attend that kind of a seminar, um, the coach or the mentor or, or the speaker will ask you, um, how do you see yourself five to 10 years from now? So um, uh, that's also one of the reasons why I started to, um, to search for things that I know that, that I can do better. Um, okay, so this question, um, where you are five to 10 years from now? And mine, uh, I have this uh, vision and goals. So, uh, the usual thing, um, uh, money, uh, have a uh, uh, fi financially free and uh, house and land, uh, earning dollars, working from home, working from anywhere, um, travels, and also uh, being physically fit. And um, from the previous slide that I showed you um, in my work, in my corporate job, um, working 15 to 20 hours Per day, it is not a good um, good one for my health. And also, um, even if I am earning that uh, much or very okay in my uh, previous work, 
um, if it will affect my health, uh, all of the savings that I have, um, it will it will vanish in in an instant. So that's why that's what I am uh, preventing. Okay. Uh, so here, um, the question is: uh, Is what you're doing now helping you to achieve your goals? Uh, think about that. Uh, because in my previous work, I think it's not. And I always say to myself that begin with end in mind. And as you can see in, in my previous slide, um, I am seeing myself uh, working from anywhere, having a flexibility, having an abundant life and an abundant um, mindset and, and, and everything. And yeah, so that's, uh, that's where a virtual assistant uh, came in. So when did I start? I started August 17, 2013. So I attended the VA seminar. And actually, uh, there's assignment in there. And like the other people, I, I procrastinated. And I didn't do the homework first. So um, the second one that I attended, I attended VA202. It's about Facebook ads and LinkedIn uh, seminar. And that's November 2014. And in here, um, uh, after attending this uh, seminar, I I uh, submitted my uh, VA assignment uh, from uh, August August 17, 2013. So it's it's one of the first assignment that that I did, and also December 2014 I resigned, and I got a gig that time. But uh, let me tell you that it's not a big a big paying gig that time, but it's okay for me. And then um. Here are the top three major struggles that I've experienced while being a VA. So number one, I'm not really ready. Uh, as you heard uh, earlier, um, I, I just uh, finished uh, my assign, uh, assignment uh, November 2014 and then I resigned already. And actually, uh, mind you, I don't have any savings that time. I just really take a leap. <laughs> And yeah, and also um, while I am starting, I got this news. <laughs> uh, I have a friend of mine and I allowed him to use my name for a bank loan. So yeah, and at that time he got bankrupt. So he asked me to pay for his debt that I didn't uh, really use, but I need to pay that because it is under my name. So I got a huge debt and you know how much is that? Oh gosh, it's okay. I'll tell you. Um, it's one hundred eighty thousand. So it's very big that time, and I can't really um imagine that time that I'm gonna pay that uh that. And I really thank God that yeah that I did. Okay, and number two, this one. Okay, um, you can just uh read that and. And and actually, it's it's ve it's very hard that time because you know um, you're doing this. You're being a virtual assistant. It's because of your family, right? Um, they were uh, they were your um inspiration, and you want them to be be happy also. But but you know um sometimes you cannot really um control the situation. And 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 I'll be honest with you that. I didn't got it. Um, I, I didn't. Um, I am not okay in in the first uh, weeks or uh, month uh, that I knew this thing. And but uh, but I just say to myself that I need to keep moving forward because there is nothing that 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 I can do to here. So yeah, even in small steps, I just uh, keep moving forward and persisting in my goals. And number three, I got myself HB. Do you know what HB is? <laughs> HB means uh, I got myself heartbroken. So yeah, actually, I really don't want to share about this, but it's my it's part of my story, and this is not really easy for me because I really experienced so much pain. But 
you know, I'm sharing this because you might be experiencing the same thing, uh, not just being uh, HB or heartbroken in terms of boyfriend, girlfriend, but it can be um, much more deeper, like uh, in your parents, someone abandoned you, your, your partner left you, or your loved one suddenly passed away. And you know, um, you cannot really control things. There are a lot of things that can happen along the way. And you know, uh, if you cannot do anything, you are the one who needs to be changed. So yeah, I just let it be an experience and I learned a lot from it. And, and you know, I, I believe in God that if he take, he, if he takes away some something from me, um, he is preparing me for something bigger in life. So yeah, you just need to persist and keep moving forward. And yeah, the the beginning is always the hardest. Um, it's very a long road, but you know it will be really worth it. So so yeah, um, actually the three major struggles are just a. Uh, major so the little things i didn't include that and just like what what i said it's really hard in the first uh first thing but along the way you will you will improve things and you will um experience those things that you that uh that you want to experience so where i am right now so i'm always with my family um here my brothers got sick, so he got dengue last, um, I, I can't remember, I think last year. So I was there for him. And here also is his graduation, uh, graduating time. So I also there. And also my father's birthday, I was there. And my mom's birthday, I was there. And I'm always there when there's a special location or kahit trip trip occasion lang. So that's one of the perks of being a VA. And yeah, number two, being flexible. So I work anywhere. I work from a coffee shop, from a co-working space, from anywhere as long as I have my internet with me and also my laptop. And yeah, I got to do, I got to serve. So in the lower part is I'm serving in Fist Manila and on the upper part, uh, they were my family in Fist Green Hills. So I'm really great, grateful that I'm a VA because I got to do things that I really want and helping other people too. And also here. So yeah, I got to go out with my college friends. Uh, it's in Ilocos. This one and this one, we just go staycation. And then, yeah, one of my close friends also, GB. <laughs> and then, okay, number uh, third one, I get to go, sorry, I, I get to go where I want. And then uh, for me, it's really freedom because I, I travel and work anywhere. And uh, this last year, I got two solo travel. So, this one is in CDO uh, with friends, and this one in Baguio, and then this one in Cebu. This is my first solo travel. And then, yeah, this one also is in Cebu, but it's in North Bantayan Island. It's solo trip again. And then this one, second solo travel in Davao. So you see, um, if you will see here on, on the images that I, uh, th that I am showing you right now, Okay, so it's um, the internet. Your internet is kind of choppy. Can you repeat what you just said after the word? Um, you will see here because I can't hear anything anymore after that. You will see here. No. No, that's not. Okay. 
Okay, I think she got disconnected. But anyway, let me just. Uh, yeah, no, wala ka. I hear her already. Okay, so I'll, I'll remove your mute. Uh, that happens if your internet became spotty and the software said, it's, you're too slow. Okay, you're back. So please go, go and tell us even more stuff about that solo trip. Why did you do your solo trip? Stuff like that. Um, any lessons you want to about that solo trip? Uh, okay. Uh, in this uh, solo trip, I always go on a trip on a weekday. So it's one of the perks of being a virtual assistant. Uh, you can go um, whenever you want to travel, and you don't need to go uh, to go and uh, te tell your boss that that you will be on a travel. Uh, and in here, uh, as you can see, there's no people in here because I travel on a weekday, and it's very uh, peace, uh, peaceful and you know it's very re relaxing for me to be in this place and then uh, there's no people it's very um yeah uh peaceful <laughs> so that's one of the perks and um okay why you do it yes and also here um a limited income opportunities um uh what i have shared um the the 1000 the 180k debt last the 180k debt i already paid it last september 2017 so i really thank god for the grace of that and yeah um right now i have so just uh enough investments so i have stock market i have farm on and i have a uh, real estate real estate for business and yeah so here here are some of my investments um also yeah unlimited racket opportunities because even if uh i'm a virtual assistant in, uh, here uh, as you can see uh this is for an agent in real estate and even though i am not going here and there i have this uh certification because i'm a facebook as a specialist of this uh developer and this one is my cousin so i am the top one seller direct seller agent and then she is the top one team leader so as you can see you can do a lot of a rocket or side income while doing a uh, online work or virtual assistant okay and yeah this this is okay um this was just happened last august August this year, so yeah, um, it's you know it's very hard because we um, we're here. I think um, when since I am elementary and yeah, we just lost our home. But yeah, I'm I'm still uh, grateful to God because we are all okay. Uh, my parents are okay. My brothers are okay, and. There are no casualties, and also um, I, I'm thankful because um, my clients um, and some of my Feast Green Hills family and also some of my closest friends uh, donated, and they were there when I need them. And and yeah, uh, that that one uh, we already uh, starting to um, to build again the house, and we are going to. Um, to go there uh, on the first week of December. So uh, really praise God. And I will tell you that um, it's also because of being a virtual assistant that, uh, that, that, that I have this kind of um, financial abundance because if I don't have that, I think um, we cannot uh, build this home again. So yeah. And yeah, four things that I will tell you. Um, Number one, be committed to yourself and to your goals because there are no other people that will uh, works, work hard for your goal versus you. So, yeah, just always improve yourself and be committed to your goals. And number two, find mentors and be surrounded with people that will inspire you to achieve your goals. So, number one, um, uh, mentor. So, Sir Sir Jomar is here to to help us to help you if if you have any questions about uh, working from home. 
uh, he can he help you in that. Uh, I have re read this um, read this term or uh, phrase that uh, you will find mentor. It's not because you're weak, but you want to remain strong. And and also, uh, they were the people that that is uh, already there. So you just need to be uh, humble enough to to ask them for help. And yeah, that's it. And number three, okay, um, be inspired and also do one thing every day that will help you achieve your goals. Because uh, action will, will re uh, you really need to take action. And number, and the last one, be persistent. <laughs> because, you know, along the way, they will, uh, it's not really a straight road. It's it's really a bumpy road, and there will really uh, be a lot of uh, struggles, a lot of pains, a lot a lot of yeah, uh, so many um, uh, hurts. But you know, you just you just need to be persistent, and you just need to keep moving forward because um, and this one uh, like. If you attended KeyCon, uh, Brother Bo said that stay long enough for the good stuff. Because you see here, uh, if you um, if you stop, you didn't know what what you will what you will achieve. And yeah, uh, always believe that the best is yet to come. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Jem, don't remove your, uh, anyway, I'll use my photo for it. Um, for those of you who are uh, looking for something juicy, like something really hard, how about telling us what you're working on right now, meaning what your work is today? Uh, uh, okay, uh, right now, I'm a Facebook about, ad specialist. Hi. Hello? Okay, what is that right mean? now. What do you do? Right now, I'm a Facebook ad specialist specialist so i have just two clients right now but my pay in that is uh for me it's high because it sustains me and uh i work very flexible time i just work four to six hours a day and most of my time because i i keep on learning i keep on learning and i have this uh side uh side businesses like in real estate and yeah, that's it. And also, uh, just like what I have uh, shared in the previous slides, um, I serve. I serve in ministries, and I help. Uh, I, I serve in Feast Manila. I serve in Feast Green Hills, and I got to travel really a lot. I'm traveling a lot. That's that's one of the one of the things that I really I really don't want to um, uh, to not do. So. I'm very flexible in my work. So yeah, that's it. Okay. So before that, what were you doing before doing Facebook ads? What what others what other skills were you? Uh, um, using? um, before being a Facebook ad specialist, I'm a general visual virtual assistant. So general. So anything that I can do online. So like um, assisting my clients in her email. Um. Also, creating posters, updating social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, and handling emails. Yeah. Okay. So tell us more about the, the fire, which, uh, which was very, very short. I don't know if everybody got it. Did you get it that Jem's house burned down? Did everybody get that? Can you just type it in? Tell us in the chat room. Did you get it? She doesn't have a house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell us about yeah. what happened. When did you find out what happened? How did you find out? Uh, actually, I, I'm working that time, and 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 I saw the fire, and then I just at home. I just yes, at home. So it's it's three thirty a.m. in the morning, and then I saw the fire outside of uh, of of our house, and I just uh wake up my father and then my brother. And and the other brother, <laughs> and then and then we, we just uh, got out of the house, and then actually um, we have uh, uh, I don't have any clothes that time, 
<laughs> I mean, uh, what I am wearing, that, that's the only thing that I got. And then, of course, the laptop. <laughs> and then uh, the, basics, the basic stuff in working from home. So that's the first thing that, that, that I got. And then, um, yeah, the, the fire is very fast. And, and an instant boom. We don't have a house anymore. <laughs> Where did you go? Where did you go when you left the house? Um, actually, um, Ate Shawi. So Ate Shawi is one of my BE friend also. So so she uh, she offered her house in Quezon City. Quezon City. And, okay. Yes, and then uh, that's the. That's where we stayed for the first week, and then the second week we we got a uh, a room at Presa, so that's we where we are staying right now. And right now, actually, I'm in Laguna. I'm in Laguna because I just want to be here. <laughs> okay, okay yes. that's a good answer. <laughs> You're yes. there because you want to be there. That's a good answer. <laughs> yes, yes. There's no boss, and I can't work, and I can work here, so it's not a problem. Okay. Well, so that your old house, the one that got burned down, where was that? Uh, in San Miguel, Manila, in Malacanang. San Miguel, Manila, in in near Malacanang, the. Yes, the near house, Malacanang. The house yes. of the Philippine president, just for yes. those. Yes. You know, yes, actually, yes, actually, I think one of my friends is here also, and. Uh, she was, uh, their house was also got burned or turned down. So, wow. yeah. Yes. I, I don't know if anybody got that. Did you get that? Do you feel that? And anyway, let me just ask everyone an emotional question. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel knowing that the person we're, inter we're interviewing tonight just lost her home. So the, the repaired house, that's the old house that you were repairing? Is that it? Or is this another place? Yes. Uh, it, 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 it's an old house. So we just are repairing it. So you're repairing but, it? Okay. Yes. But, but, but it's really from the start, from scratch. Because uh, there's no... Walang natira. Nothing was left. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nothing was left. Just, so just, just wanna, you know, just wanna give you guys a perspective. Um, do you feel hope, everyone? What do you guys feel? Um, hearing Jem, do you feel like this is a TV show where we ask donations at the end? <laughs> oh, wow. How do you guys feel? <laughs> I just wanna ask that question. Uh, no agenda. Just wanna ask that question. How do you guys feel? Um, and since, yeah, so in the chat room it says, Lei Ya said, against all odds, but she is still uh, am She's very strong. Thank you so much, Nolan. And in Facebook, I think everybody's lazy. Nobody wants to comment. <laughs> Inspired, said Kay. Ethel said, you're a brave woman. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for commenting. So uh, we're going to open the lines for, if there's such a thing as a line, this is not a television show. We're going to open the lines for questions, if you have questions for Jem. But before that, can I teach you something? Is, is anybody willing to learn something new? How about you, Jem? Want to learn something new? Yes. Yes, right, good. of course. So uh, I think what's going to happen, and you're gonna see, you guys are going to see some sort of transformation here. Um, before you ask questions from Jem. If you have any questions, right? Um, there's a few of us here. Uh, I think what's gonna happen to, to all my training programs would be, by the way, I'm not gonna teach you Bitcoin. I'm gonna teach you copywriting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what's going to happen starting today is that um, I'm going to put copywriting in all my courses, in all of it, okay? So this is the, just the beginning. Tonight, uh, and show you something. Okay, there it is. Okay, right. so on your screen, I'm going to show you a, an ad, you know, because that's where copywriting begins. Uh, we look at advertisements. So 
Now, wait a minute. I'm going to show you this. So this is this section right now. Tonight, you are, you're going to learn something about copywriting. And this is not conceptual. This is actual. It's like you attending my copywriting seminar this Saturday because I do have one. But anyway, let me fit it on the screen so everyone, including those on tiny cell phones, can actually see something. Anyway, since you guys are like millennials, you guys have sharp eyes, you can see it even if it's so tiny. There it is. Have you ever wondered what you would look like with a million dollar smile? That's the ad. Do you see that? Who is willing to type this up? Type it in inside the chat room, in your Facebook. Uh, those who are super lazy, uh, you don't want to type anything, you are going to earn 100% um, or 1,000% more of the effort you put in. <laughs> okay. So if you don't want to type anything because of any reason, you are going to earn 1,000% more the, of the effort you put in. So here is the text. One of my friends who never met me, but I consider him my early, early mentor. Have you ever wondered what you would look like with a million dollar smile? So that's the first headline. Now, copywriting is the art and the science of selling using words. And but type the word selling using words. And when you say words, you don't actually mean the spoken word. This is the written word. So copywriting is selling using the written word. Can you just type that in? Thank you, Emily, for typing it in. For the rest of you, you will get 100%, 1,000% of the effort you put in. So how will you transform something like this into a great headline for your Facebook ad, for your social media poster for your article. Are you ready, Jen? Yes. Are you gonna have to tell me, uh, open your eyes and look for products in the room. Uh, try, try, try looking for expensive products if you can, or just use your imagination, Jen. All right? Give products. products, yeah, products. You can see in the room right now, in you know, whatever room you are in. Right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> With a complete brand, uh, whatever okay, you can. Uh, okay. Okay. Blend fortified kapeng pinoy, puti that's three in one. No, that's not expensive. Is it a product? Yeah, but I need an expensive product. Expensive. Um, Give me a real nice expensive product. You don't need to look around. You just have to imagine. Uh, you had an expensive product in front of you. Okay. Um, a car, SUV, Jeep Cherokee. Oh, very good. So Jeep, Jeep Cherokee SUV. So yes. here we are on the screen. We're going to transform that headline into a well-written headline. Have you ever wondered what you would look like with a uh, here? Um, what's a Jeep Cherokee for? Uh, tell me again what the product is. Uh, Jeep Cherokee. It's a Jeep. It's a Cherokee. It's an SUV. Yes. SUV. Jeep Cherokee. What's it yes. meant for? For travel. Travel mm. with family. Uh, traveling with family. Why that specific one? Do you, have, do you have any reason why that specific model? Why not, you know, SCRV? Yeah. Uh, it, it just just comes in my mind because actually my client is a car loan financing and that's one of, uh, one loan. of one, yes, car loan financing and one, and he said that uh, Jeep Cherokee is one of the most, um, most, uh, one of the most selling car in Canada. So, oh, okay. yeah. good, 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 good. Yes. <laughs> so, here is what you, a uh, first timer would do. Have you ever wondered what it would look like with, what you would look like with a Jeep Cherokee. This is how a beginner would use that headline made by the Chuck copywriting master, Gary Halbert. At the bottom, I'm gonna show you how you would do it. You got my training. You ready? Yes. Hi. This is a newbie, newbie, 
you would do it that way. And that's not gonna get any attention. Here's how an expert would do it. Have you ever wondered what you would look like with, I would remove the with, I put riding the, mo, the what do you call the jeep, sorry? The S -S most, S no, it's S in Canada. What is it? Uh, the most what? Like, the most. Uh, best selling car, the best no, selling best car. Best selling, selling car, car in Canada. Canada. That's how you would use it. So this, what I'm showing you is from the original 19, I don't know, 1918 ad. Have you ever wondered what you would look like with a million dollar smile? You would convert that into a, an ad that you can use today, okay? For your Jeep Cherokee, have you ever wondered what you would look like riding the best selling car in Canada? Even if it wasn't in Canada, you can just put in another country. You can put in another product, not a car. How about this one? Somebody said aircon, right? Look like uh, using the best selling aircon in. Let's say, give me a, give me a country gem. Uh, New Zealand? Ah, sorry. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. New Zealand. New Zealand. And of course, you would not look like it. Feel like. Expert. Have you ever wondered what you would feel like using the best selling aircon in New Zealand? Same thing. You just now use somebody's really smart headline into selling some other product. This is how it works. Okay. And you just type it in. This is how it works. This is how copywriting works. And if you just signed off and said, Hey, don't want to learn anything, that's okay. This section here, what you're listening, this is how copywriting works. And this is how simple copywriting virtual professionals do to convert somebody's old work, like Gary Halbert's work is really old, into something that's meaningful today, which is, could be a poster, could be a Facebook ad. Right? Now, we're not finished. Gary Halbert's uh, ad actually has more words in it. So for this to be more meaningful, you need to read what it said, right? And I can't read it, but did you know that the quality of, I'm, not, I'm just reading it. Did you know that the quality of your, mile, of your smile has more direct effect on your personal and business relationship than any other part of your appearance? That's what it said, the first sentence. So for the sake of those who can't read, I'm gonna type it in. Did you know that the quality of your smile has a more direct effect on your personal and business relationship than any other part of your appearance? That's the first sentence. Why do you need the second sentence, the first sentence? Primarily because if you make a Facebook ad, you just, just can't make you know, a headline. You, know? you need to explain some more. And here's the important thing when you want to, do, be, want to become a high, highly paid copywriter. Do you want to be smart or do you want to be smarter? Which one do you guys want to be? Who wants to be smart? And who wants to be smarter? So between using your brain and the, all the experts' brains since the 1920s, whose brain should you use in solving anything? What do you think? You want to solve anything, a problem, a, a business problem, whose brain is more efficient and more trained to do that? Your brain or the brains of all the experts since the 1920s? What do you think? In my mind, I think they're smarter than us. The brains of experts are smarter than us. So we take their words. Everybody type the word. We take their words and use it. Okay. By the way, while you guys are answering there, I'm just going to make a Facebook ad because it's fun. All right? So because some of you are saying, so where am I going to use that? So here, I'm going to make a Facebook ad just for you. You know, it's so fun. And... Uh, because I can make one, right? So I'm gonna make a 
Facebook ad for traffic there. And or what's that? Jeep. So I'm gonna make a Facebook ad for Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> so yeah. Use my custom audience because you know I like using custom audiences. Jomar, what's a custom audience? Oh, relax. You you learn custom audiences if you you know if you study Facebook ads, uh, like the stuff I do. You know, I teach Facebook ads. Bottom line, that's not your concern. Your concern is Jomar is making a Facebook ad. What for? Because I want to show you where you're gonna use these words, right? Right. And here's what you're gonna use the words, right? Um, where's our headline? Sorry, you guys can't see the Facebook ad. Sorry, here's the Facebook ad. And the part where you're making the ad, and I'm just gonna copy the words that we made uh, earlier. So it's about Jeep Cherokee, right? Have you ever wondered what it would look like riding the best selling car in Canada? So I would take these words, I'm gonna plug it in the Facebook ad headline. And just put that there. Simple. All right. Now Facebook is also asking you for text. Oh, what are we gonna put? Right? How are we gonna, you know? What are we gonna put there? So we don't use our brains. We use the brains of all the experts that came before us. And I just typed it in. Where are this, where are those words? Can you see that? Uh, do you know the quality? Did you know the quality? So I'm gonna type that in here so everybody can see it there in the bigger text. Wait a minute, copy my it. Sorry for the Tagalog. I'm gonna drag this up there. So you notice this is kinda not very easy to do. Yeah, because this should be done in a live setting, not in a webinar. All right. I'm just giving you a favor by showing you what happens in Jomar's face. Um, Sorry, Jomar's events. So this is one of those things that you will learn in Jomar's events, specifically the Saturday seminar on copywriting. So this is the sentence that we got from Gary Halbert's letter. Let me show it to everyone in the Zoom. Okay. So this sentence, we need to transform it so it actually means something regarding the best-selling uh, the best-selling car in Canada. Do you have any suggestions how we can modify this so it will? We can use most of the words. Everybody type the word, most of the words. So we use them. We don't waste much of the smarts because this stuff was created by really, really smart people. All right? And it was tested by really, really patient people. And it, it, it ran for many, 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 many years. And people paid millions of, or billions of dollars to create these words that they will sell. So you don't mess around with most of the words. Most of these words, they have a lot of money behind them. They are proven. Everybody type the word proven. So we just tweak a little bit so we know uh, we can use their smarts. So here it is. Did you know that the quality of your what? Smile. No. Appearance. Now, this is about the car. How you would look like riding the best-selling car in Canada. Appearance. I will put the word appearance. Uh, wait, let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna retain the original sentence so you know the original. So, and I'm also gonna. I'm just gonna edit the, the second part, which is not the original sentence. A moment, a moment, for favor. So here it is. So I'm gonna leave the 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 sentence on top as the no, original, and then this is the modified one. Okay. So help me out. Can you suggest to me what words shall we use? You know the quality of your appearance has more direct effect on your personal and business relationships than any part of your appearance. So I'm still thinking what I can change here. Remember, we're not selling smiles anymore. We're selling, uh, I'm getting it. We're selling. Can I tell you a secret? Hey, Jen, can I tell you a secret? I will whisper yes. this because you're the guest. Oh can boy. you say hi? Um, we're not selling a car, Jen. Okay. We are selling magic. We are selling the magic 
of riding the best-selling car in Canada. We haven't even told them what it is. They don't know what's magical about sitting in that car, that everybody wants it, right? If, 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 if it's a best-selling car, everybody wants it, yes? But yes. we are using these words because these words have proven themselves to create magic in the imagination of people. They make people feel great. Everybody type the word, great, magic, imagination. That's what we're trying to go here. We're not trying to describe the car at all. Everybody type the word, feeling. We are trying to make them feel that they are inside the car. And since we are smarter, we don't make the words ourselves. We use the words of the copywriting gurus. So I'm gonna try to connect this. I don't know how, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to connect. Hi. Right. Did you know that the quality of your emotions, I'm just trying this out, has a more direct effect on your personal than any other part of your, hmm. You know, the quality of your emotion more direct than any other part of your, than any part. All right, that's that. That's what I'm going for. So this is the first part of the sentence. Did you know that the quality of your emotions is a more direct effect on your personal and business relationship than any other part of your appearance? Where am I gonna go? I'm gonna go get the second sentence after this. And I'm going to tell them that if they rode the best-selling car in Canada, they would feel great. And if they felt great, their emotions would they would emotionally feel better when they arrive going to their destination. So that would immediately put a positive effect on their personal and business relationships. That's all I want to say. But however, I don't know the actual text yet. So I need to go back to that text. So at this point, how does everyone feel? You know, I'm going to read the text again <laughs> and I'm going to copy it again. And I'm going to try to change it again. How do you feel? It's very important, you need to tell me. Does this sound easy? Does it look easy? Or does it sound really hard? I'm not gonna do that, I'm, I just want you to feel. You saw me take the headline, right, Jem? We modified it. Yes. And now we got the first line. By the way, if you don't know where I'm gonna put this headline, the second line, you know, did you know that the quality of your emotions, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put it in the Facebook ad like now. So let me move it out. I'll put it in the Facebook ad. So the Facebook ad now has text. There it is. Very simple. Copy and paste. You think Facebook is difficult. Um, I just added the have you ever wondered. Okay. And what I will do is I'm going to take a picture. You no, know, I'm going to take a picture of a car interior in pixels, for example. Just look for a inside of a car in Pexel. So it has to be some sort of generic car like that one, see? And I'm gonna use this picture. I can also use a, a picture of a car with red because, you know, uh, in Pexels, in, in Facebook, they like red. So, so this is one. So I'm gonna take this picture, right? And I crop it into some sort of square, square-ish there. Yeah? I'm not going to include the logo because I don't want them to know any logo. And I'm going to load it in the ads manager. Uh, that's just Facebook ads and then upload that image. By the way, this is the stuff they learn in uh, copywriting. We're going to use some pictures there. So we combine the feel of that picture, which is this red one. It has to feel great. It has to feel great. If, if to you or the client, it doesn't feel great, that picture, you cannot use this picture, all right? If you think it's too much, it's too much red, it doesn't feel wonderful, then you have the option to load many pictures in Facebook anyway. I, I loaded the picture because I wanted to see what the ad looks like. There, that's what the ad looks like. So don't worry, the picture is wrongly cropped. So yeah, just go ahead and load it again. Bottom line is, 
This is the Facebook ad. By the way, that's mobile news feed. It's very small. Try a desktop news feed. So you can see the actual message. We can shorten that later, but bottom line, this is what it looks like. That is a Facebook ad with the text from the Gary Halbert message on smiles. Now, nobody is answering. How do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel that we have to go back to that letter? Okay. I have to go back to that letter and yeah, go back and look at that letter, read it, and figure out how we can transform this letter into a basic message that we can put in Facebook ad, for example. If you think that's simple, then you are invited to join me in the Facebook, I'm sorry, in the copywriting course we have this Saturday, okay? It's called Copywriting 202, okay? And did you know that you can actually get a copywriting masterclass for a massive discount, 37% discount, and get Copywriting 101, the Bitcoin bonus on the morning of Saturday, and the Copywriting 202 on the afternoon, and recordings of everyone, including Copyright 101, for a very, uh, I think the amount is around 13,000 only, okay? Now, you can do that, or just go get the copywriting tool too, which is uh, approximately around 6,000, which includes the bonus Bitcoin event on the morning of the Saturday. I, I went through the whole thing because I needed you to feel how easy or how difficult this is, okay? If you find it difficult to get some words and change it a little bit, then don't go, don't go. You can buy into the Bitcoin event for 3,500, I think I discounted it. Um, just attend the Bitcoin in the morning. Don't attend the copywriting group because copywriting is for people who love to transform words, okay? But please remember, you can earn a lot of money in copywriting. You can earn a lot of money in other fields as well. It just so happened December 2 is my last event for the year and it's a copywriting event. So I'm inviting you to join that. Um, today we have a, we have a discount of 37% up to Monday. So we've extended it up to Monday. Just go to Virtual Careers Academy and use this coupon code called, what's that? Um, Cyber Thanksgiving, right? So, Jam, what are you doing this Saturday? Uh, Saturday. Yes. Uh, you are not busy, yes? I'm not sure <laughs> because uh, uh, as like what I have shared, um, I think we need to pack up from Puresa oh, to San Miguel. You go. Yeah, you need to go. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's more important. Right. So, yes. okay. Don't join the Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, but if, if I have time, I will surely join. It's very a uh, good discount. And yeah, I love learning from you, Jomar. Yes, thank you. But uh, you don't have to pay. I'm inviting you for free. <laughs> oh, really? Wait. Um, Did you know that if you're a guest in a, my webinar, you get to go, go get these trainings for free? Oh, okay. Oh. What time is that? <laughs> what time? PM Afternoon. 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. <laughs> now, you I'll know. be there. Oh, yes, you'll be there. Yes. Center in Taguig. So, Taguig? Okay. Yeah, congratulations to uh, Jamilin. She's she. You'll you'll meet her if you want to see her. Go to Copywriting Two Two. By the way, if you're gonna be joining Copywriting Two Two, you need to bring. You need to bring. What do you think you need to bring? You need to bring a computer with a keyboard, your own internet, uh, your own internet, your data. Bring your data. If you have none of those, bring paper and pen. All right. Please don't bring a cell phone and tell me you're going to type in your cell phone. That's crazy. It's hard to do side by side on your cell phones. So a big screen, if you have a tablet, fine. You want to suffer, go ahead. I don't recommend you bring a tablet. Bring a laptop so you can do side by side because we're, we're going to be rewriting stuff. Okay? You want to go slow, you use a tablet that's pretty small. Something with a big screen. And it's going to be practical. So we're not going to give you a seminar that's going to make you bored to death. It's going to be a literal, literal practice. We're going to write stuff, okay? And here's how you do it, by the way. You go to Virtual Careers Academy. You select a course. You apply the coupon, coupon discount. And 
here in the case of copyright and mm -hmm. the discount is 3,690, so it's only 6,284 instead of 9,800. Okay, instead of 9,975. Okay. But of course, you can also go get yourselves the master class. Now, the master class is called Copywriting 303, and that's with a, with a discount, is even cheaper. Okay, uh, let me just click on enrolling course. It's now the two of them put together. I think it's the wrong price, but anyway, it's now only eight one eight thousand, just eight thousand bucks, just you know, eight thousand one hundred something. So if you go get this one, this this is called the copywriting three hundred three put together. Okay, if you go get this one for only eight thousand bucks, you get two of them. You get the Bitcoin for free in the morning, this Saturday. You get the afternoon gig copywriting two hundred two. And then you also get the recordings for copywriting 101, where I explained my private and you know invented framework on creating well copyright copywriting stuff from memory, from memory. Okay. Now I'm sorry, I still have some more. Can can I can I give you some more bonuses? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Right. So here here's some bonuses. Um, you saw me make a Facebook ad, right? Using the, the copyright, the copyright and stuff. Well, that's what, exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna make copy for Facebook posts and Facebook ads, but not conceptually, actual. We're going to actually buy Facebook ads during the event. If there's good internet, if there's no good internet, you can do it, we can do it in the webinar because we have a webinar in January, by the way. There's a live event now, this Saturday, and then in January, you're gonna have a webinar, and we're gonna, I'm gonna encourage everyone to actually test it out. You wrote something made by the masters. We put it in Facebook ads. We sell online, as simple as that. I'm gonna guide you. Making a Facebook ad is not as complicated as before, primarily because I'm there to guide you, okay? And I just made the Facebook ad in front of you. Like, it took us what? 20 seconds to do it, it's pretty simple. Bottom line, with guidance, it's 20 seconds. Without guidance, it's probably gonna take you 30 days to figure everything out. I'm doing this so that you will not compare this course to any other copywriting course you've seen on the planet. It's very cheap. Most of the copywriting courses I know is 20, no, it's not, it's $2,000, it's $2,000. If you compare this to Udemy, it has not compared, okay? You got $10 courses, it's just video, three hour video, no live interaction. You don't get to make Facebook ads. You don't get to prove what you learn really works. But this one, you will. You will know if what I'm teaching you actually works or not. You can prove it because if it works, you will learn who's, who's interested in that. Who's interested in that? I hope you get. I hope you get that. That's a big, big, big thing that you can uh, really benefit from, right? If it works, what I'm teaching you, you will earn extra. And I think that's a powerful thing. By the way, what you're seeing right on screen right now is actually original price of nineteen thousand nine fifty. Okay, it's now just eight thousand. All right, so 8,174. I'm pretty sure this is the typo. Hurry up uh, and get it before we correct it, okay? This contains copywriting 202 alongside with copywriting 101, okay? Together, and it has a live event, it has a webinar, it has a recording of 101. So that's all of my messages I got for tonight. I hope you guys see that this is a great value. Now. I know you're looking for witnesses. I know, I know you're saying, is, is, is some, has somebody really earned from that in the past? Blah, 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 and stuff like that. So that's why I, I, I created a shot of, of Dexter, you know? Dexter is one of my students um, from 2011, okay? And his specialty right now is, believe it or not, copywriting. And Dexter is one of those private people who, who shows up every once in a while in somebody, somebody else's interview. He did 
get became a guest you know, talking about copywriting in in somebody else's event. But I'm telling you, this guy, instant virtual skills. That's where he learned um, copywriting from me, right? And I taught him since 2011. I think five courses. Jem, how many courses did you learn from me? The A202. Two. Two. Just two, right? This, this guy, I think, he learned five courses. One of those courses is a monthly, an instant virtual skills, six months of different courses, one every month. So, so that's why he can command uh, the high rate. Um, years ago, he earns twenty-five dollars an hour. About two thousand thirteen, he used to earn twenty-five dollars an hour. Pretty sure he's earning more than that today. So if you're looking for a graduate of my copywriting courses, this is one of those. And if you're looking for a graduate of my BA202 or the virtual careers, um, Facebook ads, it's Jem, okay? It's Jem and one of those yes. people here on the right. Some of these people here on the right are also my students, like Milmarch, Rowell, Nina, um, Alfie, and Franz. They're, these guys on the right are all my students in my different courses. So if, you, if you're free, uh, if you're thinking, hey, who's this guy talking? I've been doing this for a while, since 2010. So I know how to make really good results in lives of people. This, this, that's my goal, okay? So, so much for that. Thank you so much for listening to me. Do you have questions for Jem before we say goodnight in six minutes? You got six minutes to ask questions. If not, see Jem on Saturday. I hope you learned something from that copywriting exercise. Nobody does it that way. I'm telling you, nobody does that way except me. Okay. So I hope you guys felt how easy or how difficult that was. Hey guys, ask Jem any questions, you know? And if you don't have any questions for Jem, please do type a blessing for Jem. Ayan. Please type a prayer for Jem because you know it's difficult, right? You know it's difficult. You lost everything. You're rebuilding everything. Yes? Yes. Yes. I, I know it's very difficult. The only thing the same with us, Jem, is that I have very few articles of clothing. So, so if it burns... <laughs> I still will have few articles of clothing if I if I rebuild my wardrobe. This is a few clothes, you know. So okay. It's the same. The only thing I would decide is the books, but you know, books can. Yeah, be I lost all the books. <laughs> books can be purchased, and you will probably yeah. find it strange that they're now all online available for free when the time yes. comes. Okay. Just like you know. Apple Music gives you all the music for free or Amazon Music. Books might be like that again. I think love letters are the one that matters most. Mm, yes. Until you realize you can make new ones. <laughs> so, right? You can make new love letters with new people. So. Material things. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you should write stuff, you know, if you have a journal, start writing stuff about your experiences because that's, uh, people will pay money for that, I'm telling you. Yes, actually, I, I have a lot of journals. I have so many notebooks, journals, and yeah, and I also have a goal setting, but yeah, all of those notebooks, goal setting notebooks and client notebooks, they're um, all got burned, no. yes. Uh, you can make new one, especially now, that they're yes. gone. Yes, Make actually have, yes, I have uh, my first notebook right now and also books from Keycon. So I purchased one. Actually, the first one that I purchased is planner. The planner. <laughs> to, yes, the planner. Planner from, uh, from Kerima Conference, the planner of uh, Brother Bo Sanchez. Yes. Uh, okay. I think we don't have any questions. Yes. And really? thank you very much for those blessing her. That's Aussie and P01Z. Thank you for the, uh, yeah. Praying yeah. for you and your family's complete emotional healing. That's true. No, not just her. Yes. Yes. Not, yes. not just for me, but also pray for my neighbors' uh, emotions. Also the neighbors. Some of the neighbors yeah. are actually here in the, in the yes. hall. Yes. 
Actually, I think G is here. Hi, G. So, <laughs> Hi, G. It's gonna be okay, G. It's terrible. Yeah. It's horrible. It's wrong timing. Kasi dapat nakunod lahat yan along with the end of the world eh. Pero hindi nauna kayo. <laughs> but everything okay. will burn. Everything will burn. Don't worry about it. We will all experience it. But yours is horrible timing. But it's also, you know, opening to great. Mm. Yes. Ending is ju it's just the beginning. So, yeah. Yes. At the, please note, at the end of the webinar, I will be crying, okay? Offline. Oh maybe and maybe uh, Jemul and G will also be crying, but that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you so much for joining us. And okay. Thanks, guys. I hope you learned also. We pray na uh, pagbalik ng internet sa bahay nila Jem fiber na libre pa. Yes, oo nga eh. Opo nga eh. <laughs> Kasi wala kaming internet, wala kaming ilaw. So, oh my gosh. Tablet, so they're going to be installing new ones, right? So they have yes. to be installing new lines. So we're going to be praying. It's like fiber. And let me tell you, if you got fiber, it's got a total different way of life. Sana nga po eh. But I, I ano na, nag-ask na ako, sabi hindi daw, yung ano pa lang din talaga. DSL lang. But yeah, yeah it's okay. Yung DSL is maging fiber. Mm -mm. No, yun nga po eh. Kaso, yeah, they don't offer. But it, yeah, it's okay if that's the only thing. Uh, things will be better. Uh, yeah, Aussie is giving the right response. Hugs. Hey guys, you have no questions. Can you type the word H-U-G-S? And when you see her on Saturday, please offer your literal hugs. Okay? Okay, and Thanks, because, guys. because we're gonna have fun, we're gonna send off uh, our book virtual careers to G. So you give you give na lang G virtual careers. I give you one on Saturday, then you give it to G. Okay, no? okay, okay, sige po. Salamat po. Do you have any more neighbors here on the call? So we'll give them also. Um, wait. Uh, I think G, but I have some friends here like um. I think Celise, but but he uh, she's a friend from IBM. <laughs> okay. Just the ones in the Yes, <laughs> yes. Ah, si G lang. Si, si G. Si G. Because you're here, G, you got a free book. Um, we're going to give it to, to Jem on Saturday. Mm. Okay. Okay. Hey, G, I'll give it to you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys, everyone. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Jem, for sharing your life to us, with us. Um, I don't know how to say the right grammar. Sharing your life. Um, nothing is an accident. Everything is ordained. Everything is designed. Amen. Yes. And Amen. Including all my pain. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> including all the pain. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm not saying yours. Just mine. Because the, uh, okay. I only have the right to say, talk about my own pain. <laughs> yes. And if, if you feel bad today, anybody, if you're in a bad mood today, and you can say that, okay? You can say that. I have not slept for two days taking care of family, and and it's it's not easy. You know, one of the hardest things on the planet is not sleeping, <laughs> not having a choice and staying awake. You no, know, it's very difficult. But uh, that's my state today. There are no accidents. So thank you so much for joining us. Do join us next week for a next episode of this show, which, which doesn't have a name, <laughs> which is so funny. And I'll see you guys then. Uh, please stay tuned. You're going to find out how you can buy these books from me. Um, I'm going to figure out how to do it. You know? And by the way, if you buy these books, these are like 500 each today. But we're going to give you a nice discount for those who want it delivered uh, just in time for Christmas. Yes, we're, we're going to be selling them together for, uh, so that the mailing is cheaper. Okay, dogs? So let's wait for that. You can also win these books by joining us in the 37% off uh, the, our Cyber Thanksgiving. Use the coupon code Cyber Thanksgiving for vert in Virtual Careers Academy. And there is another opportunity to win these books, okay? You can win uh, these books, all four of them, plus a one-on-one -on -one with me 
just go to Jomer, uh, just wait for an announcement on how to join the contest. There is a contest. Uh, you don't have to buy anything for the contest, you can win that. Okay, oops. And please do take a peek at virtualcareersacademy.com uh, because there we created a brand new uh, installment plan for the Virtual Careers Workshop. There's now a seven month installment plan for it. So if you're looking for the best course to start a virtual career, right? What would be the best course to start a virtual career or virtual assistant? It's called the uh, workshop, our Virtual Careers Video Workshop, right? And if you go here, you will discover it has a brand new pricing of seven gives, okay? Uh, seven months installment, okay? There it is, seven months at $20 a month. Uh, yeah, $20, that's around uh, 1,000 pesos a month. So very, very affordable. But you can also add in, believe it or not, a coupon. So let me check that out. How do you add a coupon? And the coupon is... So I'm going to add this coupon called Cyber Thanksgiving to this seven month payment. And now your monthly payment for the workshop is now just around, what is that, $12. So that's like 800, how much is that? 12.60 times 50, I don't know how much, 630. So that's 630 for a, a month, very low. Okay. Uh, because I put the discount coupon in the virtual careers video workshop. So you pay for seven months, only have 680, 680, and that's really, really affordable. We did that because I wanted you guys to know that if you're looking for how to start, the how to start is not in the courses, the copywriting, the, the Facebook ads, and the Bitcoin. The how to start is this course here, okay? how to start your virtual careers, right. virtual career video workshop. And there is now a seven months uh, payment plan for it. There are other payment plans, all of them, all the courses in Virtual Careers Academy at Virt is now 37% off until Monday because you were busy in Karigma conference to take a look at this website. So even I was too busy, I was attending the conference. So to give everyone time, we're giving you one week check out which one of the courses you want to get. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless. Thank you so much, Jim, for sharing your life. You will be rewarded. God bless. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. My blessing is upon Jim and family and all the neighbors whose uh, house was burned, whose livelihood was affected. We pray, Lord, for strength and a big, 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 uh, big ball of hope for their hearts that they will sleep in peace, that they would open their eyes with hope, and they will their their minds and their smiles will be incredibly hopeful and expectant of great, great best things coming to their lives. So pray in this name. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone.